watching it real quick. They say, fear not, for I am with, with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with your right, with my righteous right hand. And that's it right through your hand. Father God, we praise you right now for who you are. Father God, you are so wonderful. You are so awesome. There is no one like you, Father. Father, if I search the heavens high and search the earth below, I can't find nobody like you, Father. No one so holy. No one so worthy. No one so awesome. Father, my friends may forsake me. My family may forsake me. But God, you will never forsake me. And I thank you right now, God. Oh, Father God, I ask you right now, Father God, to anoint me right now, Father God. Father God, that I, I, I pray right now that I may decrease and you increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Let the words out of my mouth touch somebody's heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. And Father God, I promise I will not take your glory. For you said your word, Amen. your glory you will not share with another. Amen. Father God, thank you right now. In the name of Jesus. Well, ain't gonna be for you all too long, you know, cause uh, I'm hungry. I got a weight problem. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> Amen. And I'm tired. Amen. So I ain't gonna be for y'all too long. Uh, but I, I got a word from the Lord. I got a word from the Lord for y'all. I got a word from the Lord. Uh, Second um, uh, Samuel chapter five verse seventeen. Second Samuel chapter five. Amen. Verse 17. Amen. I'm so glad to be, amen, in the house of the Lord. David said, What? Well, I was glad when they sent unto me. Amen. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. And, and I, I just love Brother David, King David. I started really, you know, falling in love with David. You know, Joseph, I, you know, I've been falling in love with Joseph a long time ago. You know, <laughs> not that, but I'm, I'm in love with you. <laughs> now, I ain't funny now. Hold on, now, I ain't funny. But, you know, I've I been knowing Pastor Joe for a long time. <laughs> uh, we like David and, um, and, and, and Jonathan. Amen. We, they had a bond together. Amen. Come on now, if y'all know about David and Jonathan, you will understand that. I'm talking about Brother Joseph in the Bible, okay? <laughs> David, David, David. I, 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 I love David. I love David. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Amen. King David. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 17. When the Philistines heard 
that David had been anointed king over Israel, they went up in full force to search for him. But David heard about it and went down to the stronghold. I'll let it right there. But David heard about it and went down to the stronghold. And a, 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 another uh, translation would say that David went down a man to the hole. Now the Philistine had come, had come and spread out in the valley of Riphaim. So David inquired the Lord. I like that. David inquired the Lord, shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? The Lord answered him, go, for I will surely deliver the Philistines into your hands. So David went to Baal Perazim, Perazim, you know, that's in that name wrong, and there, and there he defeated them. He said, as the waters break out, the Lord has broken out against my enemies before me. So that place was called Baal Perazim. The Philistines abandoned their idols there, and David and his men carried them off. Once more, the Philistines came upon and spread out in the valley of Rephra. So David inquired the Lord, and he answered, Do not go straight up, but circle around behind them and attack them in front of the popular tree. As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the uh, in the top of the poplar trees, move quickly because that will mean the Lord has gone out in front of you to strike the Philistines army. So David did as the Lord command. So David did as the Lord command. And he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gizar. I want to talk from the topic today, the anointing amen will cost you. Oh yeah. Many people want to be anointed. Many people want to be used by God, but what they don't understand is the anointing comes, amen, with a cost. Amen. Before David was anointed to be king, amen, all David had to do is tend the sheep. But as soon as, as, as David, amen, got a anointed, amen, guess when David started experiencing some hate, some enemy. Amen. And, 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 and See, the anointing, the anointing is the yoke destroying, burden removing power of God. Amen. When God anoints you to do a certain task, that's, he put his power in you. You see what I'm saying? In the Old Testament, amen, they anointed with oil. The, the, the oil represents the anointing. But in the New Testament, the anointing is the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Jesus got baptized, amen, uh, 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 by John, the Bible said the heaven uh, was open. And then the God said, this is my beloved son and who I'm well pleased. That when Jesus was anointed by the Holy Spirit to do, amen, the work of God. Yeah. As soon as Jesus got anointed and, and started doing miracles, guess what? The religious rulers and the Pharisees, Sadducees, began to Hate on you. Amen. Yes, yes. The anointing is, is, is going to cost you something. Amen. amen. It ain't easy being used by God. Amen. Sometimes, amen, being anointed, amen, it will cost you, amen, friendship. Sometimes, being anointed, it will cost you, amen, to, to separate yourself from your family members. Amen. Sometimes, amen, being anointed, amen, you're going to be by yourself. Amen. If you don't believe me, read it. Uh, uh, um, First Kings, when it talks about the ministry of Elijah. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, Elijah was a real prophet. Oh, yeah. See, these prophets, Prophet Samuel, he was real prophets. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. See, if, if they would have been living in this generation, yeah. Prophet Elijah would not have a lot of followers on Facebook. Yeah. Prophet Elijah would not have a lot of followers on YouTube. Yeah. Prophet Samuel would not have a lot of following on Facebook because the prophets in the Bible, they did not prophesy houses, cars, and land. They prophesied repent. Get it right. Come on, somebody. And, 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 and that is the role of a prophet. And man, you never seen a prophet in the Bible prophesy 
financial success. Amen. Watch this now. When King Saul messed up, what God did, he saw a prophet, Samuel, to rebuke Saul. Samuel liked Saul. Samuel didn't want to rebuke Saul. But being anointed by God and being in ministry or doing anything that God anointed you to do, you want to do some stuff that you don't want to do. God told Samuel to go and take my anointing off, 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 off of Saul. Samuel began to crack. Amen. The anointing, amen, will cost you something. And now, now here's David, amen, a little shepherd boy, amen, a little humble boy, amen. And, 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 and God called, and, 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 and the God rejected Saul. Because he, and I'll talk about this later on, because he saw, didn't know how to obey God. So God said, Samuel, I want you to take my anointing off Saul. I want you to go down to Jesse's house and anoint me a new king. So Samuel went and he picked out the oldest son. God said, no, he ain't the one. He kept on picking out all the sons. God rejected all his sons. Samuel said, you got any more? You got any more sons? He go, Jesse, oh, uh, I got a little, little, little baby boy David out there. He's a little shepherd boy. And one thing I like about God, and man, God don't always get the smartest. God don't always get the person that got the most education. All right. God don't get the person that, 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 that looks good. All right. He get the person that can be in that cause of the person's heart. Yes. God knew that he could trust David with his anointing. God knew that he could trust David that David would do the right thing. And that's why God chose David. And see, I'm a living witness. I'm a testimony that ever since I started, amen, doing videos on YouTube, amen, and on Facebook, amen, here come the hate. They don't, people don't want to hear, amen, the truth. Here come the hate. Here come the comments. Oh, 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 look how you talk. You talk like we ain't got no education. Baby, with God, you don't need no education. It is the anointing that destroyed the yoke. It is the anointing that removes burden. It is the anointing that can and set the free. Not your education. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I heard the Bible say it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Amen. The spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel. He has anointed me to have on his head. And all the enemies cannot hurt me. God has anointed me. You don't need no education, baby. You need the anointing. I don't need validation from men, from the world to approve me. God approved me. God ordained me. God ordained David. And just like some of y'all in here right now, God is ordaining y'all. God got anointing in your life. But guess what? It's going to come with a price. It ain't going to be easy. Ever since David got anointed, David had to run for King Saul. Amen. The Bible say, amen, the spirit. Amen. When God took his spirit away from Saul, he saw the evil spirit on Saul. And every time that spirit jumped on Saul, they go get David. David got to pay the heart. That spirit will leave. And then David first victory, I, I believe, it, it, if I'm not mistaken, is when, when he uh, uh, um, fought against Goliath. Jesse said, go down and check on your brother, see what's going on. Here come David. What's going on? Goliath was talking about all that, all that smack, all that noise, all that smoke. Yeah, I'm get y'all. Yeah, come on. Yeah. David said, go this on circus I feel this dying. <laughs> come on, somebody. Who's a certain sign for this time? And the light began to talk smack to David. David said, you come at me with a sword and a spear. Amen. But I come at you in the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. David said, you are circumcised Philistine. Amen. So I was like, David, sit your behind down somewhere. Boy, you too young. This man been fighting. I said, it's you. You can't handle that man. David said, you know what? When I was tending the sheep, and when the light came up to get my sheep, 
Amen. God delivered me from the lion. I killed the lion to protect my sheep. And that same God, <laughs> that same God that helped me defeat the lion, is the same God going to help me destroy, amen, this Arctic Philistine. And you got to remember that same God that brought you out last time is going to bring you out this time. Come on, somebody. God is able to bring you out. Amen. David Tuck. Amen. One rock in the screen shot. Boom. Knock the lion down. And then David took his sword and cut his neck off. Right then, Saul was like, who was this boy? This boy bad. And from that point on, now, 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 here, now here what really got Saul mad with David, with David. When the women start saying, Saul killed a thousand and David killed ten thousand. Saul said, oh, Lord, he got, he, got, he got all the women now. Oh, I can't, I can't stand him. So ever since David was a no 